So in this data model, I have my tables and relationships all set up, but the one thing that I'm missing is measures. We don't have any listed here on any tables at all. Now, creating measures isn't really a super hard thing to do. You can just grab a column and drag it into the values area of your pivot table, and that will make an implicit measure. But if you ever take a course on working with Power Pivot or in Power BI, what you're gonna learn very quickly is that implicit measures are, well, they work, but they're not nearly as stylistic and amazing as an explicit measure. The problem is getting started with explicit measures, well, you gotta start learning a language called DAX. So what Monkey Tools does is that it gives us the ability to actually ease that on-road a little bit. So if I'm gonna to go to the basic explicit measure monkey right here, and what'll happen is it opens up my little uh, measure monkey here, and you see I can pick my sales table from my list of tables, and I'll go and choose my amount column. And it immediately comes up and says, hey, this is a numeric value, so we can sum it, or we can count it, or we can average, max, min, standard deviation it. But you'll notice when you're looking through these things that some of these options are grayed out. You can't get the first date of a value. It doesn't make any sense. If I were to go back and choose a text-based field, you'll notice that a lot of these options disappear. You can't sum text or take a standard deviation of text. If we take our dates, you'll see the options differ again, but instead of just a largest value, we're gonna go with the last date and try and give you the appropriate format for the specific measure based on the data type you've chosen. What's really nice about this is that it writes the DAX measure for you. It's showing right here, you can see what it is, all you need to do is go and give it a name, like sales dollars, choose your format right off the bat here, so it's always gonna show up with that format when you reuse it, and choose create measure. Now, if we'll come back with a message by default that tells you that it was successful, and if you're in a pivot table, it will automatically add it to the pivot table. If you're not, it won't, simple as that. I'm gonna say okay, and I'm aware that that message could get a little tiring, so we actually have a box here to turn it off. So we'll just uncheck the confirm measure creation, and let's make a budget measure for amount that we'll call budget dollars. I'm gonna hit create measure, and you'll notice it gets added to the pivot table, no confirmation message, and at this point, I can hit close. Now the nice thing here is that even if columns are hidden in the data model, you can still build them through our measure monkey, and it will give you an explicit DAX version that shows up on the table you choose to store it on so that you can now reuse it with its default names and default formats the way that measures should be done. Thanks for watching this episode of Using Monkey Tools. To get your own monkey, visit our website at monkeytools.ca. Or if you subscribe to Skillwave's Self Service Business Intelligence Academy, you'll get a free annual pro license included with your subscription. And remember, Monkey Tools was developed to support better Excel and Power BI solutions. If you want to learn how to really master these tools, you should definitely check out our full course catalog at skillwave.training.